Rishwa is real now. Who doesn't know Rishwa? Rishwa is real. Uh, they do it. People who do Rishwa, they have sold their, their they have sold their, they have sell, sold their soul to devil. Mm -hmm. You understand? For you to kill a, a human being to make money. Yeah, Kenya women are very lovely. Oh. Kenya women, if they, if they, well, the one thing I like about Kenya women, if they want to give you, they will give you. Not stressing you like Nigerian women. Nigerian women will stress you. Before you will get a Nigerian woman on bed, yeah. ah, bro, you will spend, 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 spend. Yeah. But the Kenya woman, yeah. if she like you, so long as you, you, just, you, you, you package some that you, you will spend so that she can open for you. Even if you don't want, even if you don't want her, you understand? You spend, spend a little yeah. so that you get her, you eat, you go. Yeah. If she, if she enjoy the way you eat her, eh, she will come back for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I love Kenyans. Mm -hmm. If she, if you satisfy, make her good, she will come for you. you can me, I can't marry my relative. I can't, I can't have kind of relationship with uh, someone related to me, or even someone bearing the same surname with me. It's an abomination. We call it Alo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can't do such things. Before you even uh, friend people, friend someone, you have to do some investigation. You understand? You ask questions. That's why, you see, if I'm dating in Nigeria, you are dating a girl. We don't do outdoor dates. You go to the, to the family. You tell the mother, uh, this is, uh, the, the, the daughter will say, this is my boyfriend. Uh, then you will know that two of you are not related. So that... When he reached the point of giving Bele, uh, you know that you are not giving your sister Bele. You understand? Uh, there, are some, there are some that kill, destroy, mm. cause accident. You know? Uh -huh. those, ones are, those ones are witchcraft. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, tell us more about Juju. Juju is there now. It's, it's real. Mm. It's like, uh, uh -huh. even up to now, nobody knows I'm in, I'm in Kenya. They think I'm, I'm, I'm in Australia. Mm. You understand? you understand? So, I started living. Then your parents know that you are in... Uh, so it's my brothers, my my blood brother that yeah. know. Uh -huh. My parents know I'm in Australia and I'm hustling. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? And me, a loving man like me, handsome man like me. Mm -hmm. eh? And I don't have a girlfriend. And I'm still single. So, relationship... You mean you have never dated a Kenyan? I have never, I've dated one mm -hmm. when I newly came, but it didn't last for like, it didn't what last happened? for like, that gay, it didn't last for like a month. Well, l let me tell you what that gay did to me. Relation relationship nowadays is, is by luck. Over me, I'm not in a relationship. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. I'm not in a, I don't have a girlfriend. I can only, you know, you understand. You can, you can only watch. I eat, I go, I eat, I go. <laughs> to me, I don't have relationship because girls, they have girls, eh? Bro, me, I fear girls. Eh, why? I fear they have destroyed my heart. They have scattered oh, my heart. Hi, yeah. so, so come on and watch he and so I'm subscribe to to the YouTube channel and so I use you subscribe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Martin Dean and welcome to this episode guys. That's, it has been good. It has been awesome week and of course I'm here with some uh, one of the Nigerian guy. Uh, Kuna Ville people have been looking up to hearing a story, a Nigerian story and uh, someone maybe who has been living in Kenya, someone who came to Kenya for business uh, for business issues, for one, two educational issues. So I happened to meet this Nigerian guy who has been in Kenya. We shall be talking one, two, three things uh, because you guys have been trending all over Kenya mm. for the past one, I think one month. Mm. Uh, so we shall be talking one, two, three things to hear from you. You tell us how, is, how has been Nigeria, what brought you in Kenya, okay. what have you been doing here so far, how is Kenya. So uh, anyway, how are you, bro? I'm very, very fine. You're very fine. I'm doing okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's your name? My name is Big Dreams. Big Dreams. Big <laughs> Dreams. <laughs> My brother. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so much. Uh, I'm so much. Uh, I appreciate you being when here. I say how you day. You say yeah, you I day fine. I day fine. Uh -huh. I day okay. I do okay. Yeah. Eh. Thank you. Eh. Thank you for coming around. Eh. At least. At least. Eh? We we'll know each other and uh -huh. talk more. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, big dreams. Yes. 
uh, what brought you to Kenya, uh, what are you doing currently, uh, just to start. Um, what brought me to Kenya? Actually, uh, Kenya w was not my destination before, but something happened. You know, something happened. It is a long story. Are you are you ready to? I'm ready to <laughs> to, to hear the whole story. Yes, just mm. you can make it brief. What happened? What happened to me? It was, uh, I think, 2016, 17. Yeah. Mm. And I was trying to travel to uh, Cayman's Island. There's a country called Cayman's Island. Cayman's Island. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a brother, say brother, let me call him a brother because I see him as a, as a senior brother. Uh -huh. So uh, he had the news that I, I was doing a paper to travel. Mm -hmm. I was to go to Malaysia, but he told me that he can give me a, a document for Cayman's Island. Uh, from Cayman's Island, I can go to Australia. So when I heard Australia, oh my, I was so happy. I said, okay, it's, it's an opportunity. Mm. Opportunity come but once. Me, I know they sleep for opportunity. So uh, the guy used my head. You understand? He used my head just to get money from me. You understand? So I learned from that. So he met me and he told me that uh, I should not bother going to Malaysia. That Malaysia is not good. You know, this is a conception that many people have about Nigerians. Uh -huh. And that period, uh, they were deporting, Malaysia government were deporting Nigeria. He said, no, don't go to... So, it was... Things were going. So, he said, okay, he was going to help me get to Australia through Kemas Island. So, I had to start processing the paper. Processing the paper... And uh, I paid a lot of money. Uh, I paid him a lot of money. So he gave me some papers. I thought it was genuine. He gave me, he made a ticket for me that I'm going to travel from when I leave uh, Lagos. I land to Nairobi, Kenya. From Nairobi, Kenya, then now I'll take another flight to Cayman's Island. <laughs> you know? Do you understand that uh, <laughs> traveling yeah. trick? Yes. He used that on me to get money from me. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, they say in my place, they say, if uh, that means what you don't know, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Unless you experience, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to be smart. Exactly. So, things happen. I paid a lot of money. I don't want to go back there. So, what happened Did, when I arrived to, in Kenya? I stayed in a. I met a certain immigration man that uh, I met at the airport. I won't forget his name, uh, Otieno. Otieno. Yes. Otieno, Michael, something. I can't forget because after then, we became friends. So when I landed at the airport, uh, the man said, you are a Nigerian, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So I have to give him like $100 that time. He said, uh, I, I now asked him that me, I just came to Kenya because... I'm, you know, I'm on transit. Mm. I was supposed to leave uh, Kenya airport after to maybe... Australia. Yes. Mm -hmm. To Kemas Island, from Kemas Island to Australia. So, I was on transit. That uh, officer was like, ah, this guy, what is happening? And now he called me. I said, bro, I don't know what is happening. I'm on transit. No, the man, and I told the man that me, I, don't, I want to get into the country mm. and wait for my continued ticket. So, the man now... Said okay, there is where Nigerians normally, the area where I can find Nigerians, that I should go that place. He called the uh, Obaman. The Obaman took me to, um, he took me to Greenspan, Dunham. Yes, mm -hmm. the man took me to Greenspan Mall. He dropped me there. Before, 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 I, before 10, 10 minutes, fifteen minutes, I've already seen Nigerians. Eh. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so I went. I meet my my friend. A certain guy, I said, ah, bro, you know, we greet in our language. Mm -hmm. I said, look at what is happening, you know, I just came to Kenya, you know, we start making stories. Mm -hmm. The guy now took me from his place mm -hmm. to a certain, a certain estate there called Savannah Estate. Savannah Estate, I know. Uh -huh. that yes. Mm -hmm. So I was staying there with him along the line. The money, my money, you know, money finish. <laughs> the guy helped me a lot to yeah. that period. So, story, story, time begin to go. So, at a point in time, the guy told me, ah, bro, 
uh, this guy has this is a trick. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That guy don't scam you or make you they go Nigeria. I said no, I go go Nigeria when I have spent a lot of money. You know? When I was in Nigeria, I, I I'm doing business cryptocurrency trading. Uh -huh. So when I came to things we are becoming rough, I had to say, okay, since I'm outside Nigeria, I can't just go back like that without anything. Yeah. My my boys are the hood. They have already known that I've gone out. Uh -huh. Even up to now, nobody know I'm in I'm in Kenya. Mm -hmm. They think I'm 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 in Australia. Mm -hmm. you, understand? <laughs> you understand? So I started. Even living. your parents know that you are in. Uh, so it's my brothers, my my blood brother that yeah. know. Uh -huh. My parents know I'm in Australia and I'm hustling. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's life. So I say, I say, I say, hustler, mm -hmm. and I say, wise man, I am. Things. Mm -hmm continue happening mm -hmm. so i started doing uh, crypto trading and that time i still have i still have some dollars i still have money that time they are they are selling bitcoin i think three three something three twenty dollar that time not now that. so i bought i used the money i had i bought some coins i started trading uh -huh. until now yeah that, so in short in short uh it is uh, getting to Kenya. It was a mistake. You are to go to some other yes, place, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. So when I came to Kenya now, I say there are some talents I have that are at least there are things I can do to survive and make money mm -hmm. in Kenya. Uh -huh. So that's how you found yourself uh, um, a, a, a Kenyan citizen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me, I'm a Kenyan citizen. Uh -huh. Along the line, I, I used to act in Nigeria. Uh -huh. You understand? I used to act. I said, okay. I started looking for people in Kenya that at least we can be making content together. Mm -hmm. So I met some friends, you know, some friends like a certain guy called uh, Botwai. Botwai Chronicle. He's a great guy. Uh, I know everybody in Kenya know that guy. He's a popular man. Exactly. So I met him now. The guy sees some potentials in me that I, me, I don't even know, you know, that I can do such things. Mm -hmm. So the guy started, you know, Bringing me along, uh -huh. exactly. All, all right now, I'm a full time uh, content creator. Exactly. I'm an actor. Mm -hmm. I can I can act anything. Uh -huh. I can entertain everyone. So I have a YouTube channel, Facebook, TikTok, everywhere. Mm -hmm. TikTok, mm -hmm. big dreams, mm -hmm. big dreams for. Mm -hmm. Go to YouTube, you will see me. Okay. Uh, -huh. uh just a, uh, a condolence. Our condolences to one of our favorite actor. He's called uh, Mr. Ibu. Mrs. Mr. Ibu. John Okafor. That Okafor. is his name. John Okafor. Oh. Mr. Ibu. Ah. We are mourning. We are mourning. Everyone. Nigeria is mourning that legend, bro. Ah. I had that news. I just opened. Was it last week? Yes. I opened my Instagram and I saw. Ah. He paid me. I won't lie. I shed tears mm -hmm. because that man. Ah, that man has influenced a lot of people, a lot of content creators in Nigeria. Uh, if you if you if you are mentioning people, you know, actors in Nigeria and they didn't call Mr. Ibu, ah, you, you have not started now. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway. Uh -huh. God, God knows the best. Exactly. May you so rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh getting back to uh how has been life in Kenya? Can you tell us uh maybe getting to Kenya? You guys have been trending in Kenya for negative issues. Uh, about about BNBs, it is said that it is believed that most uh, Nigerians come to Kenya to make business with women. Uh, is that something you are aware of? Make business with women? How? With women? How? How do you mean? Like they 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 or uh, or they call it what? Uh, there is a name from your language. It is called. Um, uh, I've forgotten the name, but it is like. I take they make women they take women they lie to they lure women mm. into into relationships mm. false relationships mm. and then they go ahead and kill them uh, to make uh, rich for rituals uh, no, no, something. no 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 don't say that please <laughs> you know one thing you should know as a person say Nigeria is a great country eh? and uh, anything great attracts uh, envy and jealousy uh, people it is fact that Nigeria has, has there are some bad eggs has generated some, you know, bad repetition. Mm. 
to the country. But not all Nigerians are the same. Nigerian people, we are loving people. Nigerian man, Nigerian man cannot come to a, a, a foreign land to kill the citizen of that country. It's not possible. Uh, bro, I can bet my money on that. It's not possible. Even that uh, Airbnb issue that happened in Kenya, uh, it's not a Nigerian man. Mm. Even when I saw that news, you saw it. Eh? Yes, I saw that news now. Nah, and I, I was like, a certain friend of mine told me, ah, Nigerians are clear. I said, no, that is not a Nigerian. Let, let, the, let the law investigate. I think uh, uh, after everything, the, 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 the result came out that it was not a Nigerian. Mm. They arrested two Nigerians and they later released them. And I heard that now uh, Kenyan uh, government is now appealing to, you know, embassy, Nigerian embassy to, for forgiveness because that is not a Nigerian. That case was just to, you know, because anything happened, they will call Nigerian. If it's, even if it's a... Uh, even if it's a Cameroon person that commit that crime, mm. they will say it's a Nigerian. Nigerian. You, you understand? If it's a Congolese, yeah. they will say it's a Nigerian. Oh, bro, Nigerian man cannot do such thing. There are some things now you will tell me, ah, Nigerian man do. I say yes. Nigerian man can do that thing to get money. But the Rishwa, uh, uh, Nigerians do Rishwa, but that, was, that is in Nigeria. You can't do Rishwa in a, a foreign land that is not your land. Mm. Uh, it's the Rishwa. So, you know, uh, it was believed that it's, it's a Nigerian man because uh, uh, we understand that most people in this particular country believe that uh, these people, the Nigerian guys, uh, they have been having this trend of doing such kind of things. Uh, they Because they are good, they are known in doing rituals, in doing businesses, mm. in selling body parts. Mm. Can you let us know, uh, is there an, a point whereby a Nigerian, like, this issue we have been hearing about rituals in Nigeria, mm. are they happening? Are, are they real things that we are getting? Rishwa is real now. Who doesn't know Rishwa? Rishwa is real. Uh, they do it. But not everybody supports such thing. As for me, me, I don't support Rishwa. People who do Rishwa, they have sold their, their, they have sold their, they have sell, sold their soul to devil. Mm -hmm. You understand? For you to kill a, a human being to make money, you will also die when their time they gave you rich. So Rishwa, they do it, but it's, you can't do it outside Nigeria. You will be there. Really? Yes. You will do it in Nigeria. Some part of Nigeria, not all Nigeria. So, uh -huh. so can you let us know, uh, when you do that in Nigeria, It is okay. is it a normal thing in Nigeria that you just do them? Because it, it's a crime. It's not normal. It's a crime. Uh -huh. mm. If the law catch you, you serve it. It's not normal. What is the punishment on that? You kill somebody, you die. You die now. It's a death sentence. They kill you. Uh -huh, nah. mm. It's death sentence. Allah. Uh -huh. And uh, okay, uh, what what can you tell these Nigerians, mm. like Nigerians living in Kenya, who has who have been there to to destroy your name, to destroy a Nigerian name like a country generally? Can you talk to them? Ah. Me, I don't, I'm not good in advising, advising somebody eh? because I know everyone knows good and bad. Uh -huh. If you are doing bad, it, it try to change and do good. Doing good pays. Since my life, I've never been indulging in anything uh, that is not legal. You understand? I, I struggle, hustle to make money. I do a lot of business online. And uh, most people, they see you, you are, you are doing business online. They will think you are a scammer. Mm. You understand? Mm. Uh, even those people that are doing scammer, they don't have money now. Mm. They don't have money. Boys are making money through online investing. People are doing crypto. People are doing forest. People are doing uh, affiliate marketing online. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, if you say you are a scammer, you are doing scam, you don't have money now. People are cashing out every day, every day. You understand? Through other means of investing online, not scamming. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a scammer, I'm a hustler. <laughs> I do a lot of things online uh, to make money. Exactly. Uh -huh. Can you, uh, at some point, do you think us Kenyans have failed you guys, like uh, just destroying your name? Okay, do you feel at some point we've betrayed you as uh, Nigerian guys? No, it's not betrayed us because we brought those, those things to ourselves. 
you understand? We brought those uh, those uh, name calling to ourselves because there are some Nigerian, the bad eggs, who cause those things. So you are allowed to think of what you think, but on the other hand, you know that not everyone are the same. Even in Kenya. Uh -huh. So you blame yourself? Yes, I blame myself, but not everyone should be blamed. Uh -huh. They are still good, bad, and ugly. So if you are lucky to meet the good one, good to you. You meet the bad one, it's okay. Good to you. Uh, but me, I know that in Africa, Nigerians are the most loving people. Hospitality, we are there. If you, if you are my friend, you come to Nigeria. You will not pay house rent. I'll make sure you, you stay in my house until you say you want to go back to your country. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is the hospitality mm -hmm. we show you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, tell us more about, like, for example, Nigerian culture, uh, or other taboos. When I marry, what are what are these rules that when I'm getting into a marriage that mm. I must I must uh, maintain or rather I must have those qualities? In Nigeria, there are different tribes with their different uh, culture. You understand? Like Kenya, for example. Let me quote for you this one. Huh? Yeah. I can't marry my relative. <laughs> I can't if I if I impregnate my my relative, I'll be chased away from the community. Yes. Can you let us know those particular... Yes, me, I'm an Igbo man, yeah. original Igbo man mm. from Anambra State. You Google it, you will see. Mm. Uh -huh. The same thing applies to us. You can't, me, I can't marry my relative. I can't, I can't have kind of relationship with uh, someone related to me mm. or even someone bearing the same surname with me. It's an abomination. Mm. We call it Alo. Alo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I can't do such things. Before you even uh, friend people, friend someone, you have to do some investigation. You understand? You ask questions. That's why, you see, if I'm dating in Nigeria, you are dating a girl. We don't do outdoor dates. You go to the, to the family. You tell the mother, uh, this is uh, the, the, the daughter will say, this is my boyfriend. Then you will know that two of you are not related. So that when you reach the point of giving belay, uh, you know that you are not giving your sister belle. You understand? Uh -huh. That is it. So that is it. When when you marry your relative, or rather when you impregnate your relative, what happens to you? If you impregnate your relative, eh, you will you will serve. If you impregnate not knowing, there is a ritual to be done. You understand? Mm -hmm. They will do some ritual, and uh, even. A certain time they will they will chase you out of the community for maybe 10 20 years before you come back after the ritual has accepted if you refuse you can you can die mm -hmm. you can they can die. go and they can go and, uh, and then report you to a juju <laughs> juju. <laughs> juju you know what is juju uh, i can get back to that but uh -huh. can you tell us more about juju tell us more about juju juju what do you call a uh, what do you call a uh, Traditional, traditional doctors now. Nah. Which, Which doctor? Which doctor? What do you call it in Kiswahili? In Kiswahili, Kiswahili is not my my, so my doctor, language. It is which? um, Chawi, Dongi. Uh, uh -huh. No, these people witchcraft. are Micha, Micha, not, not witchcraft. Yeah. Witchcraft are there to kill, yeah. that and destroy. There are people that you. You go, you, you ask for solution. They solve you. Uh -huh. Muganga. Yes. Mm -hmm. They go to it's Muganga. Still, they are There are different. Okay. Uh -huh. there, are the wish, there, are, there are Muganga that cannot kill somebody. It's there to save life. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's there to save life and they give you protection. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. which, which, which one? This one's are. Uh, uh, which doctors? Uh, there are some. There are some that kill, destroy, mm. cause accident. You know, uh -huh. those ones are evil. those ones are uh, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, tell us more about juju. Juju is there now. It's, it's real. Mm. It's like uh, believing in Christianity and believing in uh, in juju. Uh -huh. mm. There are some Nigerians they don't believe in Christianity. There are some. There's someone you will uh, you will make sad now. 
will tell you, bro, you are playing with me. Give me seven days. You will hear from me. <laughs> he will go to Juju Man. <laughs> so long as he knows your name. <laughs> or he will come in the night to carry your clothes. <laughs> bro, you are finished. <laughs> <laughs> you might suffer that one for the rest of your life. Uh. <laughs> That's why it is not good to do bad. Uh -huh. You do good. Anything from you? Yes. Shoes? Ah, you carry your shoe, you are finished now. Uh -huh. That's why you, in Nigeria, you are, we are very, very smart. Uh -huh. Smart upstairs. Or you are lying everywhere. Uh -huh. You have to be careful of yourself to survive. Uh -huh. Because life is precious. Can you let us know, maybe the last question, let us know uh, some of these things that uh, we don't know about Nigerians. Uh, like we're just there, uh, uh, we, we, we just know little about you. Can you let us know some of these hidden things that we don't know about Nigerians? Nigeria is a very loving country. In terms of marriage, in terms of relationships? In terms of relationship, relation, relationship nowadays is, is by luck. Over me, I'm not in a relationship. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. I'm not in a... I don't have a girlfriend. I can only, you know... You understand? You can, you can only watch. I eat, I go. I <laughs> eat, I go. But to me, I don't have a relationship. Because girls, they have... Girls, eh? Bro, me, I fear girls. Eh, why? I fear... They have destroyed my heart. They have scattered oh, my heart. Yeah. The last... The, 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 it, it's this luck. Yeah. Me, I don't say anything about relationship because there are people you will see they are very they are happily in love. Me, if I see people that are in love, yeah. enjoying their their relationship, yeah. I'll be wondering. Hey, look at this man that is that don't even you don't even, look at the trousers you are wearing. You are wearing uh, you are not dressed properly, yeah. and you are dating this beautiful girl. Yeah. I'll be wondering what did this guy give this girl that made her love this guy like that, and me. A loving man like me, handsome man like me, mm -hmm. eh? and I don't have a girlfriend. You are single. And I'm still single. So, a relationship. You mean you have never dated a Kenyan? I, I have never. I've dated one uh -huh. when I newly came, uh -huh. but it didn't last for like. It didn't That's last happened. for like. That girl. It didn't last for like a month. Well, l let me tell you what that girl did to me. Mm. I, I can never forget that girl. I can never forget that girl. Maybe you will see this video again. You will see. You will see now that I've changed. Okay. I've gotten money. I'm doing. I'm doing okay now. <laughs> when I came, when I came newly, I loved that girl. I trusted that girl so much. I will take that every, every you know, my money every uh, Friday. There is a club in uh, Greenspan that time. They call Kobana, Kobana Club. Yeah. You will see me there spending money with that girl. I, I don't ever know that girl was targeting me. Do you know what that girl did to me? Uh, bro, don't laugh at me now. I'm saying something serious. You're laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> am, I, am I funny? Uh, no, Is it funny I'm what I'm saying? Bro, I this girl was targeting me. Mm. So, at a point in time, uh, there, is a, there is a certain business that I connected my friend in Nigeria to do. Oil business. So, that my friend sent me money that time. Sent me that time. Well, he sent me about, uh, I think, 1000 something dollars. Mm. I used her name to pick that money. The girl, Njiri. Njiri, Njiri or Njiri. I don't know. So, very beautiful girl with a very massive nyash mm. online. So, I used that girl's name to pick the money. So, we, we picked the money. We were enjoying. That bit of money was coming. So, I, from there, I left my brother. I went and rented the one bedroom that time. I was staying with the girl. I was buying property. You know what that girl did to me? Yeah. I, I, I was to go to a certain... I don't know. I can't remember, but I left that my place for like one week. Coming back, bro, my house was empty. The TV, the bed, the mattress, the... Eh, the girl cleared everything. He cleared everything, blocked my line. Bro, I can't forget that girl. Oh. Yes, that is the experience I got to it. Uh, with a Kenyan girl that time, but uh, it's all good. Things happen for a reason. How did you meet her? How I met her? I think I met her on the road. Yes, I met her on the road now. That period I came new, I was still fresh. So You're I, still having some cash. cash. Yes. Uh -huh. So I met her on the road and I talked to her. She liked me as a Nigerian. You know? We, we started wiring. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's how it went. Yeah, that's how things go.
Did you report the case? Because you understand that after that, she will be reported. Bro, I went to uh, police. Yeah, in, uh, there's a certain police at Cartes. Mm. <laughs> I don't forget them. I went there, they gave me OB. They told me they will look for her. Even the, the policeman said I should give him uh, 3,000 so that he can make everything faster, faster. I will get the report, blah, 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 blah. blah. Mm. Every day I'll be going to the police, but they didn't help me. So me, I forget about that. I lived my from there. The money was not enough for me. I from there I went. I stayed besita, start hustling. Then I pick it up from there. Mm. Uh -huh. So how that's how you you decided that you, you decided that I won't date again. I no, want. I didn't. I, I've not, I, I didn't decide that I will not date again because I believe there is love. Love is a beautiful thing, mm. and when you, you when you have met, you are so met. There's a girl that you will, there's a, there's a woman you will meet now. You will know this is your, your soulmate, no, no dragon. Uh -huh. uh, so me, I'm not in a rush. If I meet my woman now, I have known, I know that it's my woman. But for now, I'm just, uh, I'm just playing. Uh -huh. Just sit and run. Yes. <laughs> what is this one thing you've seen in Kenya that you, you want them, you want us to, to change? Something that you, you are not happy with it. Something that I'm not happy with Kenya. I don't, uh, 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 the only thing I... The only thing I'm... Some Kenyans are jealous of Nigerians. Mm. Yes. Some Kenyans are jealous of Nigerians. Even where I was saying before, that I, I never know that those guys are jealous of me. So I was coming home with a certain girl. Those boys blocked me. They, they, they beat me, eh? Mm. I, they beat me. They 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 took my phone, everything. They told me I come to uh, the way to Nigeria to to be carrying their women. I should go back to Nigeria. <laughs> and chaos you people should stop telling me to go back to Nigeria because you are not the one who brought me here. I'm, I'm here. I'm a Kenyan. Uh -huh. I'm just praying that uh, Uhuru, uh, sorry, Ruto, we remove that uh, that uh, visa this thing is trying to do so that we be. People can come, foreigners can come. You know, that's what Africans should do. So we can travel to Africa country without a visa. It's very necessary. Even Kenyans are there. A lot of Kenyans are in Nigeria making business, married to Nigerian, Nigerian women. Because Nigerian women, bro, they are very sweet. Oh. They are sweet. Ah, Nigerian women, they are very... Not, no, not Ashawo. Don't say that. You don't call a woman a shower. Even if she's a shower, don't call her a shower. Yeah. Uh -huh. So long as she, she open for you, yeah. you eat. If she refuses to open for you, you will not you will not eat now. Nah. <laughs> Me, I don't call women a shower. Me, I love women. You love women. Well, I, I love women and I'm I'm straightforward. Uh -huh. any, any, any Kenyan, well, any Kenyan, um, okay, the experience, uh, What? how do you rate Kenyan women? Kenyan women, Kenya women are very lovely. Yeah. Kenya women, if they, if they, well, the one thing I like about Kenya women, if they want to give you, they will give you. Not stressing you like Nigerian women. Nigerian women will stress you. Before you will get a Nigerian woman on bed, yeah. ah, bro, <laughs> you will spend, 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 spend. Yeah. But the Kenya woman, yeah. if she like you, so long as you, you just take her out, flex her, you know, give her money. Uh -huh. Me, I they give money. Uh -huh. I'm not stingy on women. Uh -huh. So long as you give me, you make me happy there. Money is not, I will give you money. So you mean something small for a Kenyan lady, you hit? You hit. I didn't say something small. Uh, at least, before, uh, for me, me, I believe if I want to get a woman, I should be able to at least spend, spend, and make her understand that I'm Wodogu. You understand? So that she can give me. Even if you don't have money mm -hmm. at least you, you you package some that you, you will spend mm. so that she can open for you <laughs> even if you don't want even if you don't want her you understand you spend spend a little yeah. so that you get her you eat you go <laughs> if you if you enjoy the way you eat her eh, she will come back for you <laughs> yeah, that's why i love kenyans mm. if she if you satisfy make her good she will come for you even without giving her money me, I they give you. Me, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like those men that don't give women money. Women that open for you, you should give her at least for her to come again. <laughs> you understand, bro? Yeah, that's life. That's that's why some some Kenyan men, 
I don't know about this. So okay, men are jealous of Nigeria because we they give. Mm -hmm. It can't be eating a woman. It will not. Be, it can't give her money. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. you give women like money. If you if you if you see this small girl, small baby girl, eh, you drop one thousand shilling. You drop a, a biscuit or mazewa. Mm -hmm. You will leave that uh, biscuit or mazewa. You pick that money first. Mm -hmm. But you will you will you will drop a, a biscuit for a a, a boy. The small picking boy, he will go and take a biscuit and eat, forget of the money. From death, women like money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why you should be giving your woman money. money. Small, small. You, you are level. You don't force it. Uh, at least when you have an understanding girl. Yeah. Most girls nowadays, they don't understand that uh, men are going through a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. At least you women be giving us... Uh -huh. We are passing through a lot. Stress. If a man go out to hustle, come back, so many things in the head is disturbing. Mm. Don't 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 be stingy with that thing there. Give out, give out. Give us. Uh -huh, give, yeah. us. give it to us. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't be stingy. Yeah. So long as that man can hit it very well, give now. Give now. Uh -huh. the, the man will still when you open for a man, you will open the wallet. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't open for me, you are, you are expecting me to open my wallet. You said even if you don't you want her, just yes. yeah. If you don't, even if you don't want her to in a relationship, yeah. eh, you, you spend. Hi hey, baby, can I take you out? Even if your uh, woman don't like you, mm. eh, just tell her ah, baby, I want to take you out today. You must have, you must make time for you. Yeah. Even if she don't like you, you will. She will. She will come. Mm -hmm. So long as you take her out, you spend the first day, spend the second day, you say, ah, this guy, let me just give him, at <laughs> least. He has tried. He has shown me he likes me. Exactly. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, as we finish, talk to Kenyan, uh, talk to your fans from Nigeria, mm. uh, just briefly. <laughs> just tell them where to find you. Okay. Kenyan women are there also to support you. Yeah, okay. me, I, me, I want Kenyan women to, to go and support me on my on my channel. Go and follow me. I'm just trying to grow in Kenya. I know with your support, I will go far. Uh -huh. Please, so make I go to uh, go to my channel, YouTube, at Big Dreams 4. Big Dreams 4. Big Dreams. B-I-G-D-R-E-A-M-S 4. Uh -huh. Facebook, Big Dreams. You will see me on YouTube. At least I drop content every week, every week, every week. With the help of my guys. Those boys, they have tried for me. Can you shout out them, their names? Which people? Shout out their names. With the help of your your friends. Who my are these friends. Yeah. My my the only guy that made me consistently doing this. Yeah. I won't forget him. Even if I go back to Nigeria, I will still even if I go back to Nigeria, I will still remind him. His name is uh, Botwai Chronicle. Mm -hmm. If you play with that guy, I will, I will, I will. You they kill, they kill me. <laughs> I go, I go, I go, I go. Cut your head. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy so much. You might not know I like him, <laughs> because we are men. I can't come and start, you know, doing like a woman. But for whatever he has done for me, I appreciate him so well. And the second guy is uh, MC Esodos. <laughs> MC Esodos, uh, he's a popular guy. He's doing well for himself. Those boys, they saw me, they see that, ah, this guy, you can do this. They say, okay, come around. Uh -huh. Always, I'm always with them. If you if if ask them where they know me, I love them so much. And all those Kenyan guys that are supporting me, always liking my video. Ah, don't worry. Just, I, I appreciate everything you guys are doing, just to see me grow in Kenya. And I will, I'm so happy. Na kupenda wote sana sana. Kwambie, tell them na wapenda sana Mungu awabari. Uh, 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 I love you guys. God bless you in yes. Kiswahili. I love you guys. God bless you in Kiswahili. Tell them in Kiswahili. Tell them in Kiswahili. Talk to them. Tell them in Swahili. I should Okay, I should talk to the camera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said I should repeat. No. Okay. Na kupenda I know Kiswahili is small, small because me I'm very I, I the, when the first time I came to Kenya, mm. I tried to learn their language. Uh -huh. I tried so well to learn. Mm. So 
Nakupenda wote sana. Mm. Shukra, shukra, shukra. Mm. Asante ni sana. I love you guys, eh? Keep on supporting me. Mm. Big dreams. It's only me. Exactly. I got big dream. I did for you guys. So keep on supporting me. You see my video, you like, comment, share. That's the only thing I need for you. Exactly. Uh -huh. We are just doing this thing, hustling to say, uh, to change life. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And when we are big, when I'm big on this, bro, you will see, when I'm big on this and you know, you, you will know that I'm big, mm -hmm. you will see another style of content. Uh -huh. Exactly. We'll be sharing money, come on life, share money. You understand? Wow. Uh -huh. Because it's with the support you guys are giving me that will make me grow. To all those girls that are crushing on me, I love you guys. I love you all. I love you. I love you people. Sana, sana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you understand the meaning of love, I love you people mm -hmm. with all my heart. Exactly. And I don't hate. I don't hate people because me. I believe. I believe. I believe in change. Uh, nobody is born to be to be to be poor. There is opportunity for everyone to be great. So if you are looking down on anybody, change. Somebody, somebody you are looking down on might become your helper tomorrow. And then you will be ashamed to go and ask for help from, from the person. So love everyone. Share love. If you have, a, if you have a food, you call your neighbor. Bro, come, we eat together. That is love. If somebody you somebody call to come and eat with you cannot learn bad for you. As a Nigerian, I don't believe that if I'm eating with you in the same plate, that you can plan bad for me. No. Uh -huh. We easily trust each other. In Nigeria, we easily trust each other. That's why, really? yes, it's not easy to get to to get betrayed. The only the only thing that can betray, the only thing that can cause problem with a Nigerian and a Nigerian is money. <laughs> uh -huh, money. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you so much, brother brother for being here mm. may god bless you okay. right thank you, thank you uh continue doing what you are doing mm. uh maybe are you planning to get back to nigeria very soon i'm not going back. what am i going back to do in nigeria mm. i'm here in kenya mm. i'm here in kenya you don't miss your parents we talk on video call mm. uh, if they miss me they uh, I, all man for himself i miss them all. Uh, i used to go sometimes uh -huh. I have gone back like two times, mm -hmm. but I'm not going back again mm -hmm. on, 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 because of this uh, career I want to pursue in Kenya. I'm not going back again. Mm -hmm. I'm here full time. I'm just looking for a, a beautiful Kenyan girl with big nash that will <laughs> make me to stay at home, that will make me feel relaxed. Uh -huh. If you are, if you don't have nyash, you don't come oh, yeah. because me I love nyash. <laughs> I love front and back. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, if I get that kind of woman mm -hmm. and she loves me, <laughs> I will send my father 72 acres of land to mm -hmm. take care of you. Ah, yeah. Wallahi, uh -huh. I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. You have both your parents? They are there now, strong. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many siblings? Seven, seven. I have seven siblings, mm -hmm. four girls. All of them are married. Uh -huh. My senior brother is married. It's only me that is not yet married. Yeah. But me, I, I believe marriage is not for everybody. Yeah. If it happens to you, it is a luck. Because me, I can't go and marry a woman that will kill me. It's, only, it's a woman. Woman will take a man down faster, faster. Yeah. But when you find a woman that loves you, that is there for you, you are so mate. That's why marriage is a day from God. Yeah. It's not Marriage is not for everyone. Yeah. That's why you see most relationships, most... Most this our generation now. They you see someone is married after six months is divorced. Mm. I mean, I don't like divorce. You understand? If me and you, if me and you, you are to get married and divorce is something cancel. No matter how it's hard, all of me and you we die there. We die together. Uh -huh. Exactly. Wow, thank you so much guys. We've had an interview with this big dreams guy. Amekuwa pale anasema support sana. Wa Kenya wote ambao wana watch this uh, particular episode continue supporting this guy. I'll be pinning his link down there so so that you guys can follow him, uh, show him love uh, and she has requested any beautiful lady with big nyash and good in good in uh, in front like something kindly look for him. Someone who has dreams in his mind. 
Thank you so much. Till next time. Bye bye.